Augusta Campbell, also known as Miss Ruthie and Tante Ruthie, of New Hampshire St. George, passed away on Monday 9th January 2023, at the age of 95. Left to mourn are her children Vernus Campbell in the UK, Wilfred Bailey and Arthur Campbell in Grenada, David Campbell in Trinidad, Maria Paris in the USA, Alberta McNeil, Maria Andrews, Paul Campbell and Michael Campbell all in Grenada. Sister Lona Murell, daughters-in-law Cynthia Campbell in Trinidad and Yvonne Bailey, sons-in-law Alan Andrews, Joseph McNeil and Pastor Samson Paris in the USA. 21 grandchildren including Chiron, Errol, Leslie, Peter Gooding, Deeran Paris in the UK, Nerissa, Stephen Andrews and Zorina Andrews Andal, Sean, Byron, Dave, Alion and Wynell all in Grenada, Hazel, Shireen, Ray, Vanessa, all in Trinidad, Dr. Trevor, Andre, Krista Stephen, and Miran Sr., all in the USA. 23 great-grandchildren, one great-great-grand. Other relatives and friends, including the Campbell family of New Hampshire, Bellevue and Bolio, the Frederick Murrell and Regis families of New Hampshire, Julius Gooding, Anne James and family of New Hampshire, Jason Harris, Brian Andal, Ruben Jilks and Emo Langdon and family. The funeral of the late Augusta Campbell, also known as Miss Ruthie and Tante Ruthie, of New Hampshire St. George, will take place on Tuesday, 31st January at 11 a.m. Funeral service will be held at the Wallace Memorial Pentecostal Church, New Hampshire St. George, and interment will be at the Family Cemetery, Granton. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Keith Andrew Fletcher Barry, also known as Strong, KB and 13, of Duquesne St. Mark, who resided at La Suggest St. David, passed away on Monday, December 12, 2022, at the age of 65. He was the father of Kithlin Alexander Lewis in Canada, grandfather of Shane, Kaylee and Chloe Lewis in Canada, close and dear friend of Gloria Alexander, Brother of Claustine and Devon in Canada, Elvis, Rick, Peter also known as Sparrow, and Ethel in the USA, Yvette, Angela Mervyn and Davis in Grenada, Decima, Betty and Patsy in Trinidad, nephew of Lucy Gilbert, uncle of many including Carrie Ann, Crystal, Alfonso Jr., Barry Jr., Angus, Dolly Ann, Max, Nasha, Maxine, Daniel, Tyreek, and Trevling. Son-in-law of Michael Lewis, brother-in-law of Barry Brooks and Septimus Paul. Caretakers Shawana, Bambolin, and Baby, also known as Lisa. Other relatives and friends including the Fletcher and Samuel families, the Barry and Bihari families of Chantimel, Victoria and Rosil, the Morris family of St. Mark, Mikey, Isabella Morris, Teacher Jesse, and friends and neighbors of La Suggest, Fountain, Duquesne and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Keith Andrew Fletcher Barry, also known as Strong, KB and 13, of Duquesne St. Mark, who resided at Last Suggest St. David, will take place on Wednesday, February 1st at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Patrick R.C. Church, Satez, and interment will be at the Marley Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Dennis Thomas, also known as Shipwright or Kirk, of Waltham St. Mark, who resided at Spring St. George, passed away on Sunday 15th January 2023, at the age of 81. He was the husband of Joyce Thomas, father of seven, Eulet Amede, Otis Gibson, Arvel Straker, Jacqueline Hazard Charles, Thord, Tesha, and Ronel Thomas, grandfather of 16, great-grandfather of two, brother of Jane Thomas and Clammy Patrick, father-in-law of Ronald Hines, Albert Charles and Philip Amady, uncle of many including Paul in England, Claudette Thomas and Cletus in the USA, Johnson and Judith in Grenada, other relatives and friends including Mr. Gregory Bowen, Lena, the Thomas and Straker families of Victoria, the Charles family of Springs, and neighbors and friends of Waltham, Springs, Belmont, Jean Anglais, and surrounding areas. 
The funeral of the late Dennis Thomas, also known as Shipwright or Kirk, of Waltham St. Mark, who resided at Spring St. George, will take place on Wednesday, February 1st at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Springs Open Bible Church and interment will be at the Springs Family Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Worthina Veronica Charles, also known as Miss Worthy of St. Cloud St. Andrew, passed away on Friday 6th January 2023 at the age of 89. She was the mother of Albert, Alric, Thomas, Nicholas and William Charles, sister of Deslin, Anne, Jerry, Dunbar, Phyllis and Philip, grandmother of 16, great-grandmother of 24, close cousin of Aldix Brazan. Many other relatives and friends of St. Clouds, Mirabeau and surrounding areas, including the Charles and Hilaire families. Special thanks to the staff at the St. Martin's Care Home at Crochu. The funeral service for the late Worthina Veronica Charles, also known as Miss Worthy, of St. Cloud St. Andrew, will take place on Thursday, 2nd February at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grenville Pentecostal Lighthouse and entombment will be at the Grand Bra Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Wayne's Funeral Home. Jean Lucy Thomas, also known as Giggy of Birchgrove, who resided at Paradise St. Andrew, passed away on Friday 16th December 2022 at the age of 74. She was the mother of Christopher in Canada, adopted mother of Prudence, Donna and Emmeline in Grenada, mother-in-law of Cynthia Fulgencio Noel, grandmother of Patricia, Prince, Darnell, Alison, Gabriella, Lebron, Roxy and Chandel, sister of Odessa Giddens, better known as Moms, Rose Nicholson and Gemma King in Grenada, Verona Mason and Gertrude Sinet in Trinidad, Molly Bascom in the USA, and Jelino James in Grenada, sister-in-law of Clement Giddens and Doris Thomas. Many nieces and nephews including Linda, Prisca, Prince, Don, Patricia, Jacqueline, Myrtle and Marva. Many other relatives and friends including Pastor Reason, Sister Alison Mitchell, Ken, the Congregation of Faith Believers Church of God, and friends and neighbors of Paradise, Lakabeke and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Jean Lucy Thomas, also known as Gigi, of Birchgrove, who resided at Paradise St. Andrew, will take place on Thursday, 2nd February at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Church of God of Prophecy Canal Road, Grenville, according to Faith Believers Church of God rites, and interment will be at the Grand Bra Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Sally Ann Adams of Beaulieu and Monk Parnassus St. George, who resided in Brooklyn, New York, USA, passed away on January 1, 2021, in the USA, at the age of 69. She was the mother of Camille Adams Bain in the USA, grandmother of Christopher Bain in the USA, sister of Deborah Cameron and O'Brien Adams of Mount Panassas, Dennis and Denzel Victor of Grand Aunts, Gillian Weston, Hilary Santini, Maureen and Michael Adams in the UK, aunt of Tonya Adams, Jason and Maureen Alexander in Grenada, Ian Adams and Dr. Keisha Adams in the USA, Erin Adams in the UK, and Daniel Victor in Sweden, niece of Maureen Cameron of Harfers Village, Cloyd George of Mongelou, and Victor Cameron in Trinidad, mother-in-law of Winston Bean, sister-in-law of Irma Adams of Monk Parnassus, other relatives and friends including Kai and Anne-Marie Alexander, Marina Alexander and family, Maureen Cuffey, Maureen St. Louis, Evadne Simmons, Audrey Fortune, Yvonne Princess Billy, Merle Redhead, Hezzy Philip, Pauline Lambert, Monica Bell and family, the Bain and Gooding families, and friends and neighbors of Beaulieu and Monk Parnassus St. George. A memorial service for the late Sally Ann Adams of Beaulieu and Monk Parnassus St. George, who resided in Brooklyn, New York, USA, will take place on Friday, February 3rd at 1 p.m. Service will be held at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception Church Street St. George's, followed by entombment of the ashes at the St. George's Center Cemetery. Arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Tyrrell Bullen, also known as the Bull and Connecticut, of Marlmount St. David, 
Passed away on Sunday, January 1st, 2023, at the age of 90. He was the father of many, including Patsy Bullen Follins, Judy, Stephen and Martin Bullen, Yolanda Redhead and Dessa Viveg in the USA, Rafael Philip in Florida, John Charles in St. Croix, Veronica Paul, also known as Gemma, and Rudolf Fraser in Trinidad, Janice Simon and Iona Seals in Canada, Andy Bullen in France, and Sharon in Connecticut. Adopted father of Glenroy. Grandfather of many, including Karen Paul, Giuliano Joseph, Samantha Robinson Walters, Patrick, Michael and Leanna Philip, Dana and Kadisha Charles, Destiny, Darius and Davin Follins, Lavinia, Takia and Sable McGee, Sage, Stephanie and Selena Bullen, Stephen Bullen Jr., Christina, Nova, Zanora and Gage Bullen and Aaron Viveg, great grandfather of many, brother of Angel Jenkins in the USA, Rosalind Bullen in Canada, Louisa Greenwich in Canada, Phyllis Hagley in Trinidad, Anne Marie Bullen Williams, Roy Hagley in Trinidad, Eddie and Johnny Bullen in Canada, brother in law of Vincent Williams, Lenny, Golbert, Matthew and Edlin Christopher, father in law of Catherine Bullen. Judy Charles and David Follins, uncle and grand uncle of many, including Kevin Phillips, Kayla Bullen, Trey Michael and Quincy Bullen, Dale DeGale, Pinky, Kimberly, June and Anna Bubb, and Sharon Hagley, nephew of George Hagley, caregivers Pinky Bubb and Yuland Mitchell. Other relatives and close friends, including Sheldon and family, the St. Bernard family of Barot Pasture and in Trinidad. The Bullen, Hagley, Ned, Brown, and Hanny families, and friends and neighbors of Marlmount and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Tyrrell Bullen, also known as the Bull and Connecticut, of Marlmount St. David, will take place on Monday, February 6th at 10 a.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. David's Anglican Church, Petit Esperance, and interment will be at the Churchyard Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Anne Theresa Auguste Hopkins OBE of River Sally St. Patrick, who resided at Coral Cove, Lansapine St. George, passed away on Sunday, 15th January 2023, at the age of 85. Left to mourn siblings Myrtle Joseph in England, O'Neill Auguste and wife Maudlin in New York, Fabrina Auguste Lewis in Trinidad, and Mark Prince in Grenada. Nieces and nephews including Dr. Sharon Auguste McBean, Cheryl Robinson, Sherlene and Karen Auguste, Kim Agyamang, Deborah, Simon and Jacqueline in the USA, Andrew and Shirley in England, Norma in Trinidad, Leonard Auguste, Osbert Charles, Judy Ann Old, Sherry Ann Old, Mark Arnold, and Oswald Belfon and Rita in Grenada. Adopted daughter Grace Williams, brothers and sisters-in-law including Bernadette Lyons, grand aunt of many. Other relatives and friends, Claudia Simon and family, Agatha Clark and family, Magdalene Harry, Morris Simpson, Dr. Clarice Modeste and Julie Dubois, George Philip and family, the pastor and members of the Maranatha Seventh-day Adventist Church, members of the Nursing Fraternity, Caring Hands Nursing and Home Care Agency, Nurse Batson and staff of Innovative Healthcare Services, South St. George Welfare Association, the Kidney Foundation, the Sickle Cell Association, the Grenada Council for the Disabled, Friends of the Mentally Ill, Grenada Cancer Society, the Auguste families of St. Patrick, St. Mark and in Trinidad, the Hopkin family, Othma Leach, Joyce Whiteman, Sister Sherry, Shireen, Kizzy and family, the faculty of the St. George's University and other friends and neighbors of Victoria and Lansapine. The funeral of the late Anne Theresa Auguste Hopkin OBE of River Sally St. Patrick, who resided at Coral Cove, Lansapine St. George, will take place on Wednesday, February 8th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grenada Trade Center with viewing from 11 a.m. Entombment will be held on Thursday, 9th February at the Coast Guard Cemetery at 10 a.m. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Margaret Blackman, also known as Della of Marian St. George and Lassager St. David, who resided at Woburn St. George, passed away on Sunday 29th January 2023 at the age of 60. 
The funeral arrangements for the late Margaret Blackman of Marion St. George and Lassager St. David, who resided at Woburn St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Rita Primus, also known as Julie, of Victoria St. Mark, who resided at Marley St. Patrick, died on Thursday, 26th January 2023, at the age of 88. The funeral arrangements for the late Rita Primus, also known as Julie, of Victoria St. Mark, who resided at Marley St. Patrick, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Dorothea Langdon, also known as Eileen of Belvedere Carrier Coo, passed away on Monday, 23rd January 2023, at the age of 91. The funeral arrangements for the late Dorothea Langdon, also known as Eileen of Belvedere Carrier Coo, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Daphne Park, also known as Darling, of Mongeloo St. George, died on Tuesday, 24th January 2023, at the age of 92. The funeral arrangements for the late Daphne Park, also known as Darling, of Mongeloo St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. George Freddie MacDonald of Petmontar St. David, passed away on Thursday, 19th January 2023, at the age of 83. The funeral arrangements for the late George Freddie MacDonald of Pedmatar St. David will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Etna Elaine gaskin Willie, also known as Granny, the Teeth Lady and Miss Elaine of Marast Hill Tempe St. George, a former employee of Arisa Credit Union, passed away on Sunday, 22nd January 2023, at the age of 85. The funeral arrangements for the late Edna Elaine gaskin Willie, also known as Granny, the Teeth Lady and Miss Elaine of Marast Hill Tempe St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Wilton Allard, also known as Titchy or Titi, of Lassager St. David, died on Thursday, 19th January 2023, at the age of 34. The funeral arrangements for the late Wilton Allard, also known as Titchy or Titi, of Lassager St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Michael Bonaparte, also known as Mr. B or Part of Monlong St. Andrew, passed away on Tuesday, 17th January 2023, at the age of 56. The funeral arrangements for the late Michael Bonaparte, also known as Mr. B or Part of Monlong St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. George Mark, also known as Hennessy of Plans St. Patrick, passed away on Thursday, 19th January 2023, at the age of 85. The funeral arrangements for the late George Mark, also known as Hennessy of Plains St. Patrick, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Vernell Mary Nixon of Berlioz St. George, passed away on Thursday, 19th January 2023, at the age of 42. The funeral arrangements for the late Vernell Mary Nixon of Beaulieu St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Desmond Abraham Williams, also known as Pampy, of Constantine, who resided at Boca St. George, former employee of Gravel and Concrete Production, passed away on Tuesday, 16th January 2023, at the age of 66. The funeral arrangements for the late Desmond Abraham Williams, also known as Pampy, of Constantine, who resided at Boca St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Joseph Gregory Jones Frank of New Hampshire St. George, a well-known carpenter and musician, 
passed away on Thursday, 17th November 2022 in New York at the age of 73. The funeral arrangements for the late Joseph Gregory Jones Frank of New Hampshire St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakpa Brothers Funeral Home. David Andrew Monroe, also known as Brother of Victoria St. Mark, passed away on Monday 16th January 2023 at the age of 59. The funeral arrangements for the late David Andrew Monroe, also known as Brother of Victoria St. Mark, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakba Brothers Funeral Home. Jarville Reynolds Dave Matthew of Woodford St. John passed away on Saturday, December 30th, 2022, at the age of 29. The funeral arrangements for the late Jarville Reynold Dave Matthew of Woodford St. John will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. David Bubb, also known as Swordman of Mount Airy St. Paul's, passed away on Saturday, 14th January 2023 at the age of 59. The funeral arrangements for the late David Bubb, also known as Swordman of Mount Airy St. Paul's, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Vera McMeo of Menorca St. David passed away on Thursday, January 12, 2023, at the age of 99. The funeral arrangements for the late Vera McMeo of Menorca St. David will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Clarice Redhead, also known as Kao, of Café Croshu St. Andrew, passed away on Thursday, 12th January 2023, at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Clarice Redhead, also known as Kao, of Café Croshu St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. I am Godwill James, an MD and a member of Gateway Assembly. Medically, that is regarded as an end or a cessation of life. Different, um, different groups view death in different perspectives, while some regard death as a continuation of life, others view it as an infable form of life. As a Christian, we may want to view death as a separation of the soul from the body. So, whichever way one may, view, one may view death, I want to say that may the gentle soul of the faithful departed rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. I am Godwill James, an MD and a member of Gateway Assembly. Medically, that is regarded as an end or a cessation of life. Various groups have different perspectives about, about death. While some view death as an infeeble form of life, others also regard it as a continuation of life. As a Christian, death is largely regarded as a separation of the soul from the body. So, whichever way one may want to view death, I want to say that may the gentle soul of the departed rest in peace in the bosom of the Lord. Amen.